I'll try not to say anything that would endanger my diocesan pension. Because <laughs> it's on TV, right? <laughs> but I'm going to come close. I can only speak for the Catholic community. It was happening long before COVID, but COVID was the uh, COVID was the the football that got kicked not only past the uprights, past the people, but out of the stadium. And that is the declining attendance at, at churches. We could have a great discussion on why, but I think it comes down to one thing. People said to our church, you don't love me. Um, the glaring example is the abuse crisis, not all but many bishops transferred guys who should have been in jail. And people said, if you don't love the kids, you don't love me. I'm in a second marriage, but I don't have an annulment. I've been married 10, 20 years. You told me I'm living in an invalid marriage. You told me I was living in sin. You said, you can't go to communion, even though I do. You don't, you don't love me. My, my son or my daughter is gay. They're, they're two of the finest human beings I've ever met in my life. They contribute to the community, they volunteer, they're good moral people, but you tell me they're disordered. If you don't love my kid, you don't love me. It wasn't too bad in 2008 and 2012, but in 2016 and 2020, I sat in the pew, and you told me if I voted for one particular party or one candidate, I could not be a good Catholic. Sometimes you told me I was going to hell. Sometimes you told me I shouldn't go to communion. That discussion should have happened in a church hall or outside in the parking lot, not with me sitting in the pew. You don't love me. So who does love you? You know who loves you? Your parish church, your parish community, your parish priest who shapes and forms the direction of that parish community. I got three guys sitting up here with me who, who either ran or run parishes like that. When you went to their church, you felt loved. Why is it that people will travel up to 30 minutes to, go, to come to a, a Eucharist, a place they like to pray, even though there may be a Catholic church right down, across, right down the street? They want to go to a place where people say, we love you, we accept you, we embrace you. Bring your cross here. We'll help you carry it. The guys, the guys will be Simon of Cyrene, the women, Veronica offering her veil. That's where people experience and find out they're loved. 
in their parish community. For half of my priest, more than half of my priesthood on the hill, I, I was blessed to be a part of two parishes like that. First St. Justin, then when we merged with St. Mary's. Um, I felt that. I think you felt that. Visitors felt that. I, I was loved here. I am loved here. That's why I drive here every week. For your 15 minutes of quiet prayer this week. Yeah, I'm still doing that. <laughs> For your 15 minutes of quiet prayer this week, I want you to reflect on what you would say to a relative, a neighbor, a friend, or a stranger who says, I'm Catholic, but I don't go anymore because my church doesn't love me. And you say, mine does. Let me tell you why. <laughs>